So this video is about the 10 things I tell myself when on a diet. Before we get into it, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and press the bell notification button to get notified when I make new videos. You can find me on Instagram and on my website and it's all linked down below. And let's get started. So today is July 4th and from the 1st of July, I've been on my healthy eating, clean whole foods, exercise every day, just diet mode. I don't want to jinx it, but next month I may or may not be on a on a beach in a hot country somewhere. I don't want to say the worst just in case it doesn't happen and then I'm going to be really upset. But so just in case that does happen, you know, you have to wear like swimsuit and bikini. So I want to get slightly leaner for that. So I'm from the 1st of July, I've been on like my really clean diet mode. So I thought I would make this video um, about the 10 things I tell myself to help me stick to a diet. The first thing I tell myself, and this is in regards to avoiding junk food and foods high in calories, I tell myself, you already know what this tastes like. The things that we usually end up craving are the foods that we've had a million times before. Things like pizza, things like pasta, whatever your trigger food, your, your craving food might be. You've had it before, you know what it tastes like. It's not going to be a completely new and unique experience. So if you're on a time restricted scale like I am and you want to be on a cut for a holiday or you have a photo shoot or whatever it may be, do you really need to have that junk food again when you can skip it and have something healthier and be closer to your goal? Just tell yourself, I've had this before. It's nothing new. If that thing is still going to be there by the time you're done with your diet, okay? So you can have it then, but for the time being, just focus and say, I don't need that. I've had this before. The second thing I tell myself on a diet is I'll eat that tomorrow, but just not today. This I told myself uh, quite often in the evenings, you know, a lot of people feel snackish before they go to bed. If you're watching a movie, TV, whatever, you just want something to eat, but just hold on till the morning. When you're sleeping, obviously you don't feel hunger. And then in the morning when you wake up, you can eat. And actually a lot of the times you'll find that when you wake up in the morning, that feeling of hunger can actually be gone. A lot of the time, that's what happens to me. A lot of the times I don't eat breakfast. I just wake up, I'll have like a tea or a coffee and I'll feel fine until noon. So just tell yourself, I'm just going to not have whatever this food is till the next day. Just hold on. This leads on to my third point, which is just stick to it for a minimum of three days. It could be going for a walk every day for half an hour around your neighborhood. It could be, I'm going to not eat for about four hours before bedtime. Whatever your goal that you set up for yourself may be, just stick to it for three days. From the fourth day onwards, you'll actually find it's much easier. You feel lighter waking up in the mornings. And if you want on the fourth day, you can have a rest day from exercising or you can treat yourself to something that you've been wanting, but just that one thing, not like a whole day of binging. And then from the fifth day onwards, do another three day cycle of really strict, clean eating. Obviously, if you want to go at a faster pace, obviously stick to the plan, keep going, don't do the fourth day thing. So just stick to it for a minimum of three days. Number four, learn to accept the uncomfortable feeling of hunger. You know, especially as the world has been in lockdown and in quarantine the last few months, people have been just in their house eating out of sheer boredom because there's nothing else to do. You're not even feeling hungry, you just want something to snack on. I do intermittent fasting, so I don't eat three times a day. I eat twice a day. Usually I skip breakfast and then I eat lunch, dinner. There are so many benefits to intermittent fasting. If you don't know much about it, just go look it up on Google. For me, I find that it really works. I eat twice a day and it's so easy for me. And it really, if you really stick to it, you can lose weight successfully. Learn to accept the uncomfortable feeling of hunger. Don't have an emotional response. Notice that the feeling is there, accept it, and then just wait to your meal time. A lot of the times it's just you're thirsty and you don't realize it drink water. Losing weight is hard. You are going to feel hungry because probably before you're used to feeling constantly full all the time. But no, humans are not meant to run on 100% satiety at all times. That is not normal. Learn to run on that feeling of slightly empty 
and you are going to lose weight for sure number five eat to live not live to eat you'll need food to survive and to carry on going to give us energy but that's it food is not a solution to your problems in your life you have to find other um, sources of happiness whether that may be relationships with your friends family partners pets hobbies you know you just need to find other things that will enrich your life that is not food you know a lot of the people that have binging problems is because they put they have such an emotional relationship with food they they use food as an escape it's just something that you need in, to carry on living but that's literally it there's nothing more than that eat to live but not live to eat number six weight loss will make the biggest difference to your face than any makeup product will for me this really applies because when i put on weight you can straight away see it on my face and all the girls can relate you contour to like get that sunken in cheek look and uh, you put on like eye makeup to make your eyes look bigger whatever just lose weight it will prettify your face 10 times more than any makeup product will because when you lose weight on your face your features pop more your eyes look bigger your cheekbones are more defined it's just your features stand out more because you've lost the unnecessary fat that's on your face don't spend money on expensive makeup products instead go for a run like it's free and honestly when you've lost weight you can go out without any makeup and you'll still look far prettier than when you are heavier and you have a lot of makeup on so really weight loss makes the biggest difference to your face for boys too not even just girls for boys it will make you so much more handsome everyone wants that defined jawline that should be really motivation enough to stick to your diet you'll become so much more handsome or pretty with weight loss number seven don't compare yourself to others just be better than the version of you yesterday as long as you've taken action today to make yourself have less body fat today than yesterday then you have been successful you've had a successful day if i compare myself to like a victoria's secret model that's completely unrealistic because I'm never going to look like that. Even if I starve myself for three months, I'm not going to look like that. I'm not that tall. I'm not that like long limbed. It's completely unrealistic standard to compare myself to. Take pictures of your body as you go along and compare yourself to only just how you looked. Be really focused on your goal. Be really consistent. And if you're really honest and don't cheat, the results will come. Just have patience, but trust the process. The results will come. Just be a better you today than the version of you yesterday. Number eight, the weight that is lost quickly is put back on quickly. I can speak from personal experience. Basically crash dieting never works because you're going to put it back on plus more. Back in 2013, I was in Korea for the summer and I got a personal trainer and I asked him when I before my first session i'm only here for about five weeks before i have to go back to london can you make me help well not make me just assist me <laughs> lose the most amount of weight as possible during this time and that's what i had asked him to do and i asked him to be really strict with me tell me off and that's what he did and i lost i think about eight kilos in four weeks in about a month's time and that's all that's very quick weight loss at the beginning i was exercising about two hours a day at the gym and then towards the end of that month i was exercising for about three hours a day a lot of cardio i ate once a day and it was like mostly fruit and vegetables that was a crazy weight loss and obviously that is not a sustainable lifestyle i was food obsessed i was starving the whole time miserable i was like lashing out at everyone that is not sustainable. And then obviously as I went back to London, you put the weight back on and more because your body's just so starved. So don't be like me. <laughs> but yes, exercise every day. Don't starve yourself and eat proper food. Don't eat <laughs> once a day like I did and only eat fruit and vegetables. That's stupid. I'm planning on making a future video about my whole like weight loss journey everything that's happened that's gonna come in the future so don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on that crash dieting never works the weight that is lost quickly is put back on quickly so keep that in mind number nine exercise for your mental health not just for the sole purpose of 
losing weight, wanting to look better. So exercise for me has become the same as brushing my teeth every day. It's that much a part of my routine. Um, before, I used to hate exercising. I used to cry internally at the thought of dragging myself out to do cardio. Now it's really easy. I do cardio every day for an hour. I usually run or I uh, jump rope. And for me, like during quarantine, during this weird time, the last few months, I had to go out and exercise to get rid of all the anxiety that I was having about this whole situation, about, you know, because me and a lot of my friends were all musicians, about like our future careers, like what's going to happen, how are we going to make a living? All this anxiety that I was having. So to get rid of all that, I had to go out and exercise get all that adrenaline out of my body. Literally saves me. Exercising really improves my mood, my stress levels. About two years ago, I started having really bad panic attacks that was so physical in nature. For me, since then, exercise is really... I do it for my mental health, not just for physical health. You have so much more energy throughout the day. You don't feel as lethargic in the morning when you wake up. There's just so many health benefits to exercising. Just go do it like half an hour every day. <laughs> so number 10 and the last one, reward yourself during this process, but not with junk food. Reward yourself with other things. Uh, if you're a girl, you can go for manicures, go for a haircut, uh, buy new shoes, clothes, uh, boys the same, um, video games, gadgets, anything else but junk food reward yourself that uh, with things that will make you more confident that will make you feel better obviously you want to keep yourself feeling happy and positive during, throughout this whole process and doing these little things for yourself will definitely uh, motivate you more to stick to your plan to stick to your diet so nobody is quite sure of how this summer is gonna go right i am on my diet with the intention of going on holiday if it doesn't happen Let's not think about that because I'm thinking of it as definitely as like I'm going. So good luck to everyone on a diet, on a cut. It is hard but rewarding and you can do it. Anyone can. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.